hello guys so in this video we are going to create a 2d character something like this in inkscape so let's get started so when you open the inkscape go to file and go to document properties and here use display unit to pixels and we don't want show page border okay now so select this circle tool click and just drag it and we need to create a oval shape and not a perfect circle like this okay and and use this color here so to zoom in you can hold control key and just uh, uh, scroll your mouse, middle mouse button and let's zoom in and now let's create so select this transform tool here right click and duplicate it and let's change its color to some black so we can create a hair and hold control and select this and just drag it up a little bit and let's move it to the bottom so select this okay let's let's create open half it now or we can just extend it so just drag and select both of them go to align and distribute and just click center on vertical axis and if uh, you don't have align and distribute here you can go to objects and you can just click on align and distribute and this panel will pop up and same for the fill and stroke okay the next thing is uh, right click and uh, duplicate it and let's change its color so select fill and stroke and select the color picker here and we will select this black color and again select the transform tool now hold shift key and select this corner arrow and just drag it like this so you can reduce its size let's drag it up and just change its size like this okay now select this bezel curve tool here uh, this one bezel curve one and what we will do is we will click once here one more one more time here 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 and okay like this we will create a shape something like this go to fill and stroke and you can see here fill here is no paint and uh, we want a paint here and we don't want stroke so select on stroke and select on this cross and now select this tool here part tool and now just drag this nodes and drag and select this node holding shift and we want to make it a curve so select this one okay now you can see we have some unevenness here so we can just adjust it like this by zooming in and going okay and we want this to be more perfect again drag and select and change their shape make them smooth okay and you can play with this and to create a shape let's let's do one thing create one more node here so what you can do is just double click here and we will create a new node like this and now we want this also to smooth okay so let's create eyes select the circle tool and this time hold control key click and drag to create a circle like this and let's place it here a right click duplicate holding control click and just drag it here okay we can do just drag and select both of them right click and let's group them select this bigger circle here and then eyes go to align and distribute and just center on vertical axis and remember the relative to is first selected and what does that mean is whatever the object we select second its position will be adjusted relative to the first selected object now let's create some eyebrows so select this square tool click and drag to create a rectangle like this and let's zoom in 
and select this circle here hold control and just drag it down so we get a curve like this okay, we don't okay let's let's reduce its size okay again select this rectangle tool select this circle and with holding control just drag it like this now let's make it a path okay let's 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 reduce its size holding control select this corner and just reduce its size okay right click duplicate and just move it here the next thing is we will create ears so let's ungroup these two so go to object and let's ungroup and now right click one of them duplicate let's change their color to this one so go to fill and stroke and select five fill select color picker and just select this color and let's adjust their position okay and let's right click duplicate uh, holding control just drag it reduce it and change its color to this lighter pink something now select this circle bigger one then select this uh, smaller circle holding shift and go to align and distribute and just align center and vertical and horizontal axis now we can see we want to move this shape beyond i mean bottom to this circle so let's group these two first so select both of them with the holding shift go to objects and select group and let's move it down by one so okay now right click duplicate move it here holding control and again move it down by one okay let's see maybe ears are too small so select one of them hold control and just make them larger like this okay now let's create the mouth and right uh, click on this circle right click duplicate let's bring it out and right click again duplicate let's change its color so we can differentiate between them holding control just click and drag it up drag and select both go to path and select difference so you can see here difference and only the area which was not covered by the top object is remaining so you can just leave it like this or you can just holding control increase its size and let's okay, let's uh, it's too dark let's light or maybe like this okay now let's make the neck so select this rectangle tool right uh, click and just create a rectangle like this and let's change its color go to fill and stroke select color picker and just select this color okay now let's create the body so again create a rectangle okay like this and let's increase this so holding control select this uh, circle here and drag it down like this we get a curve a nice curve like this and let's change its color to black a darker black that's too dark let's okay now this is nice so select this rectangle first and then this one go to align and distribute and you want to align on center vertical axis okay let's see okay now right click duplicate hold control and select this arrow here and just drag it down let's change its color to some blue okay and let's select this rectangle first then select this and align on vertical axis just drag it down and let's get it back okay next uh, we will create hands so again create a rectangle now we want smaller hands here 
so hold control select this circle here this one dot and just drag it like this so we get a smaller curve here and let's change its color okay so let's and we want right right click and duplicate and just bring it out just reduce its size and increase the length uh, just select this one so we don't do snapping and let's change its color to some skin color and let's change the curve hold control and just drag this like this now we want this one behind this sub, uh, rectangle so select this rectangle and just move it down by one this one we will just select this one and this one and we want to align it on center horizontal axis and let's go to object and make it a group now we can select this object and again click on it so we get this rotation option and we will just rotate it like this okay i think that's too sharp here go to object and just ungroup it and select this rectangle tool and just and now we slice if you want you can just reduce the hand size like this again select board would make them group right click duplicate and just uh, flip them on horizontal axis and we will holding control just drag them to the left side like this now let's create the legs now we'll select this rectangle tool again and again we will create a rectangle something like this this time we will change its color to the blue one and let's take it up okay let's rotate it like this right click duplicate and okay so just select both of them go to object and group them select this one or any any of them you can select this one and then select this one go to align and align on vertical axis like this so you can pretty easily create a character like this and if you want to create different uh, expressions they are pretty easy just drag all of that right click duplicate holding control i will just drag it to the left side i mean right side and now i can just change the expressions like this by rotating it just flipping Let's make it a sad one. Let's delete. Right click, duplicate, flip it. Go it here. Okay. Let's drag. Right click, duplicate. And let's make it angry. then right click duplicate and we can make it to look at to the left side like that so this time this will go to the back bottom and okay and this will be here now just move it here change its delete this one duplicate and just bring it here and just change its and this time we will create a circle like this and we will keep it here just make it over the shape okay now 
just click on this circle right click duplicate and you can see this one is at the top of this now select both of them go to path and select intersection so the part which was uh, common for both of the objects is remaining and let's change its color fill the black and let's okay now Let's reduce their size. Yeah. And let's bring the ear to the front. Okay. And we don't want this part this time. Uh, what we can do? object right click ungroup and we will delete this red one okay and we want only this one so guys you can see here okay so you can see pretty easily we can create a simple model with different types of expressions in any scale so thank you guys and i will see you in the next video